Oh my soccer universe. Finally, FCON jersey review. I've been threatening to do this for a long, long time. But by the simple fact that there were three tournaments happening at the same time and, you know, two of them really heating up. Um, having lots to do at work and most importantly uh, my family going through quite some turmoil. I never got to it. I mean, I prepared uh, all the jersey pictures, which are not all that great. I mean, it's easier to do it for other tournaments because um, most of the African teams don't have like official release or websites or whatever. But yeah, I finally get to do it and I'm so psyched about it. Really, I am because uh, for me, the AFCON, one big reason why I'm watching is because of the jerseys. Uh, it's the most colorful tournament all around. Um, African jerseys are just a passion of mine. And yeah, I stocked up a lot on these. Uh, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to run through the groups, basically um, how they were seated in the uh, pots. So starting by pot one, two, three, four. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean how they um, finished in the group, uh, although we know this by now, because you know I'm doing this I'm shooting this video now ahead of the quarterfinals, which start tomorrow, and I probably I will be done. The quarterfinals are done. Um, I'm gonna wear a jersey of a team that is in the group if I can, and this is the only group where I cannot. So I'm wearing my go-to uh, replacement jersey, which is the Burkina Faso shirt, because Burkina Faso didn't make it to uh, the AFCON, unfortunately. But I'm still gonna feature one of my favorite African teams. I gotta make a video on that too, why I like Burkina Faso. It has to do with when they hosted the AFCON in 98. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight to it. Group A with the hosts from Egypt, which are uh, do not play in the World Cup jerseys because they switched uh, early this year from Adidas to Puma, which I'm actually quite happy to see. My favorite Egypt jersey, and that's the only Egypt jersey that I really want to have. Um, and I'm actually looking for it to get it. I, I thought at one, one point I had it, but then the Pharaoh print was missing. That was from Puma. I think uh, Egypt and Puma was a relationship that I really liked. The Adidas shirts I was not so crazy about, uh, although there were some interesting ones. However, the one at the World Cup was probably the most boring one. This one is already more interesting uh, than most of the Adidas shirts ever were, uh, but it's a template and this swirly pattern on there is kind of, yeah, what can I say? Not all that uh great looking but it makes uh, it makes for a better jersey I, I would say it makes it interesting to look at my big gripe with egypt jerseys is the horrible crest this crest uh a teenager designed um and to me the nickname of the egypt uh, is the pharaohs and they make way too little with this nickname um however i still think this is a decent uh jersey interesting to look at. I don't know if the pattern would have been a little bit have something to do with Egypt. I would probably give it higher marks, but this way, yeah, middle of the park is a five-star jersey to me. Uh, we also saw once the away jersey, uh, which is the same thing in white. Again, doesn't look bad, but you know, um, white with black shorts, it's pretty much a Germany getup. Uh, and then add the crest. It doesn't add much to me. I actually think this jersey could use a little bit of red uh, to balance things out. But then again, um, I think it's decent enough. I still want to give this five stars. Although if there was some red in there, I think this could look a lot more interesting. Next team uh, is the Democratic Republic of the Congo or DRC, although their FIFA code is COD, which I totally regret. And this is a jersey, the home jersey that we saw way too little of. We only saw it in a very uh, poor color clash against Uganda, where basically since this shirt is half red and uh, Uganda, as you see, also has the home jersey in red. I mean, talk about a bad color clash. This jersey is awesome. Um, it could only use one improvement. You have the flag of the DRC just below the collar. And you see that uh, the jersey takes the colors of the flag and kind of is inspired by it. However, it skips the upper part, the one with the star. I really would love it if uh, 
they would have made the sash go through the crest, which, despite the soccer ball in there, is actually quite good looking. The soccer ball could use some work, but there is a leopard on there, which automatically makes this um, a great uh, crest for me. And I also like the shape. Uh, it actually distracts that the soccer ball is there, to be honest. Um, so yeah, if you have a sash that is bordered with the yellow and then make uh, the right shoulder also blue, probably even the sleeve, then I think this would uh, be even better. I don't know why O'Neill's is using two stripes. I mean, do you try to copy Adidas a little bit? So uh, that's a little bit weird, but you know what the big feature is. It's of course the leopard print uh, that has been featuring on DRC jerseys for quite a while. And that's one of the reasons why I want to get a DRC jersey. This one I really like because it's unique. Uh, it is impossible to match <laughs> in, in to have, have in many games. And as we said, we saw the away jersey way more often. Only once we saw it, it was a color clash, although this could have been easily avoided. Uh, but I really like the look of it. It's very non-standard and it uses all the national colors. Maybe a star should be in there too. Uh, the back uh, features again on the, on the back side the um, uh, crest in a bigger form. It has then the red shoulders over the blue uh, base. Doesn't look that it doesn't look that bad uh, either. I think if that design was used on the front, uh, wouldn't have hurt uh, the jersey as well because uh, with this uh, strike out, it doesn't connect with the back. But I understand why they're doing it this way because otherwise you cannot read names or numbers. It's it is, uh, it, it, in a way, it's horribly awesome. I have to say it that way. I really like this one. Uh, that one entered the list of jerseys I really would like to have, and I give it rather, you know, I don't believe I'm, I'm saying that I'm going to give this eight stars. Uh, the away jersey makes a lot of sense, but it's rather boring in comparison, mainly because red is missing. This is just, and to a certain degree, even yellow. It's just a white jersey with some light blue accents, which is okay in the overall um, scheme of things, because with this colorful home jersey, you need to kind of have a um, very plain away jersey that, you be, uh, that you're able to match uh, with other, other teams. I mean, before the DRC often flipped up the colors that you had like a blue home jersey with a little bit of red, and then the away jersey was red with a little bit of blue. Um, the white, it makes sense in that uh, regard. I'm not so sold on the color here. Um, also, you know, these two stripes, it's just too much Adidas in, in a way. I love the leopard print. I love the crest. Um, I think it's decent, but it lacks for me the wackiness of the home jersey. And for that, I only give it seven stars. But the DRC always has jerseys that I usually like uh, because they are so amazingly weird. And in Africa, that's a good thing for me. Let's move on to Zimbabwe. This was probably more of dis a disappointment. I mean, Zimbabwe never had that great of uh, jerseys to begin with me uh, with yellow and probably some white thrown in there but if you look at the mafro kits that they were wearing in qualifying those are actually liked now they switch to umbro and they get yellow with this white inverted chevron with the, the lines and the accents are white that's just something missing for me and then you also have the a black umbro logo, whereas the crest has actually all the Zimbabwe colors in there. Given how colorful the flag of Zimbabwe is, I find these jerseys definitely a chance missed. There was some, you know, get the other African colors in there and even some black, make a kind of a band with those and this would look even more in interesting to me. The crest again, despite the soccer ball, doesn't look all that bad. Um, I like the shape of it. Just get rid of the soccer ball. Do some, put something else in there. I always say a national team jersey should have the code or the uh, coat of arms or the emblem, uh, something like that on the, on there. Don't use a soccer ball. It's not needed. But yeah, I find those boring. Not bad, but boring for that. Only four stars. Um, we also see here. The away and the third jersey, I would assume that the um, uh, green one is the away jersey, which looks a whole lot better because green is a stronger color and then you have actually red on the uh, sleeve cuffs like this Burkina Faso shirt. 
So I actually like that a little bit better, but it's nothing really special either. Uh, for that reason, five stars and the, the third kit in white, um, not sure how often you will use it, although given how Africa has a lot of yellow uh, jerseys as well, I like that the white and the green is there. It's probably, uh, I don't want to say it's the best one, but uh, it's also a good looking one, but it's not uh, really exciting to me as well. So I also, also only give this five stars. And then we come to the surprise, but also the outside in this group, which is Uganda, the cranes, which stayed with Mafro. So good on you, Uganda. Um, Mafro is this uh, wacky African brand that releases really great uh, looking, striking shirts. I need a Mafro shirt. And maybe the Uganda shirt is pretty high on the list, although I have to say the, Zim uh, the Zambia home jerseys they are something to behold as well so that would be one that i would be looking at as well um mafro to me is like the african macron in, in a way they usually produce uh, outside of the box but uh, great jerseys um just want to look forward to it what they're missing for me i mean the um, uganda if you look at the flag there's this crane in there so it has the um uh nicknamed the cranes I'm missing a reference to that nickname, although maybe if you see this line in the center, it looks really, a little bit like a crane. It is, of course, the Belgian flag kind of in there because the flag of Uganda is made up of, uh, I think, two Belgian flags because they were part of Belgian colonies, although that was not a very happy time. Uh, but I think it makes for an interesting mark on this jersey. Uh, the crest is a little bit boring. Um, I know it has a little bit more than... Uh, Others, but honestly, the, the soccer ball is too much there, and then it's just white, white, and I don't know what the blue is doing in there, and you know, the shape of it is not interesting. So that maybe is a little bit of downer. But I like this center stripe, where the two other colors come out. Um, so you have two shades of red, and then you have the um, black and the yellow, of making it kind of a unique. Accent. I also really like the sleeve cuffs with the Belgian flag on there, and that actually makes this. For sure, the second most exciting design in this group. Um, and I think it makes for a decent jersey that I would actually like as a Belgian jersey too. And I'll give this eight stars. A little bit more uh, obvious on the away jersey, which is white with the same pattern. And then uh, the sleeve cuffs. This would be a perfect Belgium away jersey, I have to say. Uh, I really like that one. Again, I wish that instead of this soccer ball with the Belgium flag over there, uh, this would be a crane make do something with your nickname put a crane on there i mean this is one animal that you have that's uniquely you um but i think i really like the look of this i'm gonna go uh nine stars for that i really like this one this one looks great uh and the third jersey is the same in yellow which kind of goes um Similar the way of the red one, although it's a little bit more, the pattern is more prominent, but then you lose kind of this uh, yellow sash because it blends in with the rest. Uh, and for that reason, yeah, we shall, shall, shall go with that one. I'm going to go the same with the home jersey and give this seven stars. And there you go. First group in the book. Uh, we're going to look at group B tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do probably uh, now frequency two videos a day and one of them will be for sure a jersey review video. The other one will, uh, if there's nothing else to talk about, I'll do two jersey review videos. So yeah, we should be done by that before the FCON ends. Anyway, let me know how you like these jerseys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop comments below. I mean, my ratings, I think they're the correct ones, but you know. You might have a different opinion. That's all what this is about. I want to hear your, your opinion on these. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see the upcoming reviews and also for the Women's World Cup, the uh, Copa America. And, you know, I do it for almost any bigger tournament, including the Champions League and all the, the top five leagues. So stay tuned on that. You can also see some of my collection and some of my thoughts on games. Anyway, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.